Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Hey guys, for the sake of this video, we're going to be nice, calm and collective, but we are going to make that specific video today. So just for the sake of this one, we're just going to make this a good video for you guys. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at an upgraded version of or such as card we're looking at a player that is five foot ten with high high work rates right footed with three star skill moves but has the four star weak foot the big thing with this card is the massive upgrades that it has received 95 acceleration 97 sprint speed 99 finishing with the sniper chemistry style 96 shot power 95 long shots increased volleys and penalties as well as attacking positioning um the dribbling stats he already has 99 agility 99 balance and you're increasing his reactions ball control dribbling composure passing stats are really really good right uh he has 87 stamina which is a very very good bare minimum on the card right so it's a perfect perfect card if they had the four star skill moves it would honestly be amazing right so the thing that we're gonna be trying out with this card in regards to the upgrades because i really liked the first version of it and it was very obvious that this version would have gotten the upgrade because it's dinamo zagreb they're like the best team in croatia um is obviously going to see if all those four main stats if they're good pace shooting passing dribbling i want to see how good they are now i personally think right because of the four star week for right foot specifically uh being his preferred foot i think that this card would be absolutely incredible to use in the left attacking mid right attacking mid or striker position he could definitely play that cam position really well as well because i'm looking at a card that any attacking position in the 4231 i think this card's gonna be great and he also has the height which is definitely helpful as well but i think specifically what we're gonna do for the sake of this review is we're gonna be trying him out as a striker to ignore lauren blanc in that position i just want to make sure that i have a full 10 cam 100 cam on orsic and then we just basically take it from there so the way that we're going to be lined up in game is going to be looking like this with the 4-2-3-1. Rashford off to that side. Uh, Bernardo Silva, I think I'm going to actually put to the left side over here. Raul in the middle, and then I'll have Orsic playing as a striker. Uh, actually, because of the players that I currently have in the squad, I might as well use Mares in the cam position. And then use, I would say, Bernardo Silva. Nah, I don't want to use Bernardo Silva there. Because I was thinking, like, maybe I could just do, like, Raul as the attacking-oriented fullback there and just keep it like that. We'll just leave it like that and just use Orsic as a striker. The main focus of this review is obviously Orsic. Um, 87 stamina is a good bare minimum stamina. We're just going to use Orsic on balanced chemistry... Uh, not balanced chemistry style. Balanced instructions because we want to see what he's going to move like in the general sense. Uh, it's going to be interesting to try him out on the striker with the high-high work rates. But because uh, you guys know high-high work rates, it's, like, very 50-50 in regards to... Um, it being really good, really bad. So we're going to see what's up with that. So uh, yeah, just going to get into a game real quick and see how he plays. Oh yeah, dude, this dribbling is way better. Whole oh, with the sniper chemistry style, this is like disgusting. And it still doesn't register fake shots in this game. Uh, but yeah, dude, I, I can tell right away this car is going to be freaking nuts, man. Near pull strike power. Oh, I put more power into that, but because of his perfect finishing with decent composure, good shot power and whatnot, he actually finished that really nicely to the bottom right corner. You can see that even with the sensitivity of my actual shot, I put it way higher than that, and he did a really good job. You can definitely tell that his height is going to be a noticeable thing. That's going to be really nice in this card for sure. Good positioning with him there with the high, high work rates. Making that run. Near post strike, close to the goalkeeper, still scores the opportunity. And I get and I think that was against Terstegen as well. I'm really liking his off-the-ball movement. I, I will say right off the bat, he's definitely he's definitely way more preferable to use up top as a striker than Ozimane's card. Ozimane has that future stars card that you get through the gameplay objectives as well. Um, this card is way better. It's because of the dribbling, the height and stuff, right? Like, when you have height with good dribbling abilities, you have that four-star weak foot. Regardless of you having the skill moves or not, I just need you to be able to dribble quickly to get into positions uh, to score opportunities, right? So, let's see what his pass is like from that angle. And it's a really nice pass, too. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to see what it was like to do the ball roll touch from that angle just to see if it would work. It obviously doesn't. You have to face it from a different angle to make sure that you actually uh, get it off there. But uh, yeah, man, Orsic did a really great pass there from a specific angle that 
I didn't expect him to be that good at doing, but because they're at the they're in the 80 ranges, right? Like the mid or the low 80s, he's gonna be able to hit those really nicely. First time pass, we're gonna force that run there with Orsic. We'll tap, ooh, Varane with the interception right there. Would have been nice right there if Varane did intercept that. He made obviously a very good run. Like I said, the 87 stamina on the card, if you do actually want to tell him to come back in defense, he definitely uh, could do that really nicely because of the 87 stamina. Like you'll be able to play with this card for two games at the very least. Messi on 80 is just way too low, but an 87 is like a good cutoff point. So not a super aggressive a runner right there, which isn't terrible to be honest. There we go. Nice little chip shot right off the bat. Ooh. I like to try the chip shot. Chip shots are not really like a super viable way to, sh to score. Uh, not like on Pez. Pez's, uh, Pez's finishing in regards to chip shots is absolutely glorious. But I always like to try those no matter what. I'm liking the way that he's like playing off of the other players right now though. See, this is the ball roll touch. See, you see how you have to face them at a 45 or just a little bit lower to get it off right there. But a good little finish. Orsic playing really nicely. Rashford utilizing the empty space really well. Um, yeah, this card's freaking nice, man. I don't know what to tell you guys. He still has the ball? <laughs> okay. Oh, I really want to try the fake shot stop from that angle. <laughs> this card's sick, man. He, feels a little, he, he definitely feels his height, for sure. Maybe like a little bit taller. Which is, of course, it's really nice to have because his dribbling is really fast. Nicely done. Orsic playing really well off of Rashford again there. Little layoff there. Nice little finesse shot. Played that really badly in general. I probably could have done a little better there, but... Uh, yeah, man. I, I like the way that Orsic kind of like comes close into the play to receive the pass so that the players on the left and right attacking maybe can, that, you know, they can utilize the spaces on the right and left side and make those runs. Um, I believe Rashford, if I'm not mistaken, I think he has high-low work rates. I could be completely wrong. It's either high-low or high-medium. That's what he feels like in-game. And he has high-high work rates. Oh, that's actually interesting. That's his footmas card. I don't know if they changed it for his, like, regular one. High-high work rates. Interesting. High-high work rates on that right or left attacking in position. He's utilizing the empty space really nicely. Possibilities. Oh, beautiful. Let's go. Again, get the angle. Ball roll touch. Yeah, there it is. Nice finish, too. <laughs> Good finish from that angle with the four-star weak foot. Yo, imagine if this card had, like, a five-star weak foot. That'd be absolutely nuts. Yeah, dude, he's... I, I definitely like him way more than Ozzy Main. Uh, when I used to use Ozzy Main from back in the day. So, it is a cool variable with Orsic's card nowadays because um, if you did the first icon swaps, the person you should, like if I did it at that time, I would have gone for Roberto Carlos's card, right? So, with Roberto Carlos in the team as a left back with Storyline Kovacic in the team, I can get a really cool link up there with a 4 5 1 setup and just put Orsic in the team with that, right? Let's try a finesse shot from here. Not that great. Um,. But yeah, there's like an interesting variable there now because of that storyline Kovacic, like just having a really good midfielder um, with him to give him that chemistry link and whatnot is uh, is pretty cool. You could do the situation where it's like um, you can use like Luka Modric's card as well. So I could put Kovacic in the team and then Luka Modric as a striker or something. Um, probably like not a super ideal situation. Oh my god, that was a really bad shot with <laughs> Lauren Blanc's left foot. Uh, probably not an ideal situation, but... It's definitely possible, right? Like, you definitely have to work around uh, uh, um, Orsic's card, but... Like I said, if you did the first Icon swaps and you got Roberto Carlos, and then you got this Kovacic card, you know, it's it's really cool for Orsic, for sure. Utilizes the empty space really nicely right there. Nice layoff. Really good layoff, actually. Great finish. Yeah, that layoff by him. His, his first time passes when he has his back towards um, towards my goal, uh, like the opposite direction. He does really good lob, lob passes to the other players. 
Wow, what a turn. Will he utilize that empty space in the middle, though? Uh, let me see. He does. Near post strike. Nice little save by Terstegen, because Terstegen's a beast. But, um, yeah, man, this card's really good. It's it's pretty obvious how good... Bro, that is the first time I have ever seen that happen this year. <laughs> a player actually got injured from running. This guy has no stamina on his players. All right, guys, so final verdict on the card. Yeah, he's a freaking monster. I do think, guys, I think it's a very hugely relevant thing to make sure that you start him on, on a sniper chemistry style on 10 chem, right? Because I think that the dribbling boost that he gets for the specific dribbling stat, the composure boost and actual ball control reactions boost with the 99 finishing, that's where you're truly going to notice a difference with this card. Now, if you want to use him as a sub, I believe as a sub, he would start off on, I believe it's five chemistry, right? Because uh, that's what the players are like when you sub them on. Um, so he doesn't get that full boost with the chemistry style. Without the full boost of the chemistry style, his dribbling may not, may not feel as good, right? That's a huge thing with these cards in regards to using him as a super sub and not using him as a super sub. But would he make a viable option to use as a super, bowl, a super sub? Yes, absolutely, okay? It's just that he will not feel as good without the sniper chemistry style on the card. The sniper chemistry style really, really makes this card an absolute monster. Even regards to the fact that he doesn't have the four star minimum requirements for skill moves, you have near enough perfect finishing with this card with a four star weak foot, you know, he's, his dribbling on the ball with his height is amazing. His pace is great. Decent physical presence because of his height. Like, you're looking at a very decent card, guys. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This is the first time I've did a, done a video for an upgraded version of a card. So um, let me know what you guys think about these ones. I might make that specific video today. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.